Yes, hello. I'd like to talk a little bit about the MFC. Therefore, I first like to make a short oh, uh, a short poll. Please raise your hand if you're using Microsoft Visual Studio. Okay, you you're doing UI stuff on Windows. You use the MFC. You customize MFC controls. Yeah. Okay. I'll continue anyway. Okay, so MFC is a Microsoft Foundation classes. Uh, it's a wrapper for the Win32 API. It has UI framework for dialogues and document view apps. And it has a class hierarchy that uh, builds up the Windows controls, uh, standard window controls, and it has some other stuff inside. So, and where can you find resources? There's Code Project, Code Guru, they have uh, like a large library of uh, of uh, yeah customized controls you have your own code base and the MFC itself because it's shipped with a full source code so let's play a day at the office we are developing a Windows UI so the customer asks oh that combo box should remember the last 10 inputs you look around and the developer comes up with a CMRU so uh, most recently used combo box and it's publicly derived from C combo box. That's the base class in the MFC. So now the customer comes, oh, that combo box should have a autofill. So you come up with a C autofill combo box. That's also derived from C combo box. And now the customer that, and that combo box should have both features. So the developer, uh, what should I derive from? I could take the MRU combo box, I could take the autofill combo box, but in both cases I would do some copy and paste and put it in there. And what I can't do is that because you can't derive twice from an MFC class because the MFC class has always be the first in the, uh, in the base class list. So they simply don't compose. So what can we do? We can go to mix-ins for the rescue and for those who have never heard of mix-ins, it's just you take the base class and uh, you take a template parameter and put it in as your first base class, in, in my case. Um, so what can you do? You, you make an autofill combo box type, you make an MRU combo box type, which in my case also has itself uh, a mix-in from some helper class and then you can have your, your autofill class that's derived from uh, that mix-ins combo box. And if you want to have an MRU autofill or an autofill MRU combo box, the, they behave both equally. You just take both mix-ins and put them in. So what, what's the problem with this? Why doesn't everybody do it? The, the problem lies in this message map macros that uh, uh, that bring the the messages to your to your class. So messages are simply sent uh, with send message in the end in the window proc in in Microsoft. And so yeah, you have to you have to make them work with templates and have to get everything in line. So that's uh, the, the the real problem you have to solve. But it's quite easy, and I don't know why others haven't done it. Um, so summary, you should consider mixins to customize class style libraries that don't have templates for putting in your base types. Um, they're easy composable, of course, and they can get you your job day, uh, day job done. Um, so, and finally, uh, for those who've seen my talk last year, I want to slightly misquote Cato the Elder and say that. 